Hello again, everyone. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. You've truly, truly blown me away with all your love and support. I was actually going to try and make part two for when I reached 100 subs, but uh, you all took me off guard. Um, some of you subscribed off the comment on the screen on uh, a call for an uprising's video. So welcome, welcome. On a side note, it was uh, awesome to see so many of you who uh, know about our flat earth on a channel that doesn't cover it. Um, I have a lot of love for Call for an Uprising, but he doesn't talk about flat earth. He does allude to it sometimes. Um, he clearly has an open mind about it, but yeah, it was really great to see so many of you who know about it, who are passionate, who, who just know the truth. If you've watched a few of my videos, you should know that this channel is all about connecting the dots and fully awakening, <coughs> finding and spreading the unlimited or undil undiluted truth. Before I start, make sure you check out part one if you haven't. We covered quite a bit, and if you're uh, new to this, if you're new to this topic of the uh, transgender agenda, please check that out first. <coughs> don't be that guy who, uh, don't be that guy or girl or a man or woman who um, only watches part two and then asks a bunch of questions that are covered in part one. That's uh, obviously not the what you want to do. Uh, the first part was very well received, but the vast majority of, uh, of viewers didn't like or dislike the video. So uh, I take that to mean that you want to see more before you make up your mind. Perhaps you've seen some of these um, transgender women pregnant in air quotations, in quotation marks, and don't know what to make of it all. <clears throat> so, uh, let's start. These uh, transgenders use products like Moon Bump to give the appearance of a genuine pregnancy. Whether you prove the pregnancy or the gender first doesn't matter. They both crumble under scrutiny. Beyonce, as shown on the screen, Pink and many others have been, explo has, have been exposed as clearly using a Moon Bump. And uh, what will become apparent after this part, and maybe some more parts, and just you researching the transgender agenda by yourself, what's going to become very apparent is um, how much this programming, how much this deception has affected everyone, really. <clears throat> this is one of the main reasons why young girls and boys are turning bisexual and gay. They are forcing young girls and boys to look at sexualized trannies or, or transgenders. They aren't even looking at real women or men, and that's why are, they are attracted to these, in quotations, females or males. <coughs> um, which then convinces them that they were born gay when really they've been deceived. Uh, it's very similar for the men, um, which will become even more apparent when I expose um, the female to male transgenders. Uh, on a personal note, I do actually remember this happening to my little sister. Um, she was probably about 10 at the time. I was probably about 13. It was the moment where she started to idol idealize these, in quotation marks, women. Uh, through mostly magazines, music videos, and stuff like that. I knew I, had, uh, I knew I had lost my sister because she looked down upon herself because of these women. She already she had already changed her perspective or outlook on life and how she saw herself. At the time, I didn't know what was happening or what to do about it, um, but that's why shedding light on flat earth and the sheer scale of the transgender agenda is so important. It allows you to live your life at a level of perception you could not have otherwise. It allows you to see through the deceptions and not be as affected by them. You're able to resonate more with love and less with fear. Hopefully walking the path the Creator has laid before us instead of being led astray. The truth always matters. If you don't know the truth, you can be made to believe anything. And through those beliefs, you can be made to do just about anything. The biggest atrocities come from belief. Now, I don't speak about the Creator often. Um, but this all comes back down to spiritual warfare. The truth... <clears throat> brings you closer and closer to the Creator, whereas lies the opposite. I was an atheist for 20 plus years, or an agnostic, because I thought I knew what I knew. Um, but they lie about everything. They themselves are lies, what they present themselves to be. Uh, makeup is a less 
extreme version of this, where women portray themselves as something other than what they are. This is taking it to such an extreme where they're portraying themselves as a, as a totally different gender, which makes it extremely hard to find the truth, <coughs> and therefore confusion abounds. This isn't really about transgenders being everywhere, just like Flat Earth isn't really about the Earth being flat. It's all about destroying illusions. Once the illusions are destroyed, that's when the real work begins. Your ability to see through the matrix at a level of perception that you could not previously will allow you to reconnect with your true self, slash shed the ego, resonating with love instead of fear. This is ultimately the truth about this world. The deceptions if not seen through will make you resonate more and more with fear, whereas the truth will re make you resonate more and more with love. It is fear that stops people researching, <clears throat> asking questions, it's too uncomfortable. It may mean that they have to change the way they think or act, what they do, what they feel, how they see the world, how they see themselves. In other words, it's hard work, it's unknown, it goes against the crowd, it's non-conformist, and there's a lot of fear involved. And once you let go of that all, then you'll be free. Just on a note, love is not to be con confused with the New World Order or Satanic level, coexist, tolerance, deception. <clears throat> Nor is fear to be confused with danger. We as humans, hue, H-U-E, mans, or men and women of different hues, or pigmentation, are divided primarily, or, <clears throat> or we're divided a lot, uh, by race and gender. Uh, they promote the division between races that don't exist, as I've already mentioned, it's just pigmentation, and say there is no difference between men and women. As we're, she as we're seeing with this transgender agenda. Everything is upside down and back to front, just like the Satanists like it. We can see this ev even further with the pedophilia and transhumanism agendas. They highlight differences that do not exist and explain away differences that do, like age, gender, and species, which are clear differences. <clears throat> Part 2 will be focusing more on transgenders in politics and business. <clears throat> One of the main reasons I want to go into um, politics, business, and more ni other niche areas um, next is because I see people like um, flat earthers who are still stuck in certain parts in the matrix, uh, primarily in sort of areas like politics and business. Um, for me, Flat Earth really showed me how much of, you know, the, showed me how the world is just the stage and we are merely players, to quote a famous song. <clears throat> and I suppose they just haven't seen enough of the actors yet to see the sheer scope of this play that sort of, that we're in. Um, so hopefully when I, when I cover, you know, I've covered Ivanka Trump and Melanie Trump and uh, Michelle Obama and so, Hopefully once I cover more and more of these politicians and business men and women and, and looking at the female to male transgenders as well, hopefully that will really break open this this deception. Um, that's one of the worst things I can see is when I when I see a, a flat earther still stuck in the Hegelian dialect or or um, you know you'll see this a lot with you know 9/11 truthers or or, or um, chemtrail warriors or, or these sorts of guys that just focus on 9-11 or chemtrails in that um, they're still quite asleep to a lot of what's going on whether it be the central banks or bloodlines or um, flat earth or or the multitude of ways that we're being poisoned or um, they're just asleep to a lot and so that's that's what this channel is all about it's all about promoting a full awakening and you've got to you got to break down a lot of deceptions, and uh, get to the truth before that happens. So, yeah, make sure you uh, like, share, and sub, and um, get ready for part three because we're about to go real deep into this trans transgender agenda. This is <laughs> this this has just been the intro, guys and girls. I need to think of a better. 
Ah, oh, a better way to colloquially call you, <laughs> you viewers. Um, I keep going towards guys, but it's probably not the best word. Maybe somebody in the comments can can let me know of a better unisex way of addressing my audience. Um, that would be much appreciated. But yeah, much love to you. Not guys. Much love to you all. And um, yeah, peace out.